Hi, this is Speedy at Bergzerk Arcade at bergzerkarcade.com, and this is tutorial 206. Uh, so we left off, we're working on our new uh, singleton for our player character. So I'm going to go ahead and open that back up. And there's a few more things that we have to implement from our old player script. Uh, we're still going to want to get the inventory. Uh, we won't need it to be static anymore. Uh, what else is there? We're going to want to still be able to equip weapons. Obviously, we'll be able to get rid of all this commented code now. Uh, I'm still going to include the update. Although, later on, we're only going to be sending this message instead of every frame uh, when our health actually changes. And we won't actually need this anymore. So let's go ahead and start off by just, well, including our inventory. Uh, so I've set it to be private, and I'm just creating a new list. And then I create a public accessor for it, a static accessor to return the inventory. Um, I can't think of anything that I actually want to do with the inventory specifically, so uh, we're not going to have it be a uh, private static anymore. Uh, let me just go up here. I'm going to put it in. Well, let's keep these together, actually. I'm going to put it above it. And instead of being a private static now, I'm just going to make it a public. And I'll change the name so it's just inventory. And that's probably all we really need for that. And let's come down and also take a look at the items that we have equipped. So we have a public static item equip weapon. Uh, again, we just we're just going to sorry it was a private. We're just going to make this um, public. Or actually, no, sorry, we'll keep it private. I'll put it right under here. But it doesn't need to be static anymore. And we'll just copy all the code. Actually, it's just, well, it's not copy everything just yet. I'm just going to come in. I'm going to paste that uh, under my awake function. And of course, it doesn't have to be static anymore. And I'm just going to go through and take a look. Uh, Yeah, that looks okay. Uh, this function doesn't even exist anymore. We don't need that. So if we have nothing equipped, just return. Uh, let me see. Yeah, everything looks fine. I'm going to keep the uh, debug log statement there just for now. I'm looking at this here and I'm thinking we could change it. We could actually check to see if the value equals null. And that's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to move this up a bit. And I'm just going to check to see if the value equals null before we even try to assign it. So if the value that we're being passed in is equal to null, don't even bother trying to assign it. And that way there we can get rid of this. It's basically it just saves one process cycle, so we're not assigning it and then checking to see what we assigned. We're going to check to see what we're assigning first, and that's it for here. Oh, this WM we no longer need because we were originally getting that from down here, but we don't need that anymore. I'm going to fix that, but before I do, I am going to grab my update while I'm down here. And I'm going to post that above it. Generally, I like to keep all of my uh, Unity functions together. And we can actually make a region for that. And I'll make an end region. And there's nothing in there I want to change, so I'm just going to shrink that down now. And I'm going to get rid of this WM. And the way we can get rid of that is, where is it? Right here. We just want to get the weapon mount. So we can say instance dot weapon mount. 
And I'm just going to cut and paste that in to the rest of the spots. And there's just the one. And here. And I'm just going to check my debug log statement. That's fine as well. And I'm just going to make sure that, oh, right here. And here. <laughs> I guess I better go through this one more time. Okay, everything seems good. Uh, just to make sure, I'm going to go over to Unity and check, make sure no errors pop up. There is one. Uh, the type okay, I need to add the generic. I'm just going to cut and paste it from up here. So I just need my using statement, which is fine. I'll just throw it up here. And we'll save that. We'll come back and check. And PC Awaken here. It's okay. So right here. Uh, you just type in new. And well, this warning has been around for like ever. You know, like I think Moses wrote that line of code. It's been around so long. So I'm actually going to comment it out because I don't think we've ever used it. And when I originally wrote it, I had different plans on where I was going to go with it. And I don't think I've ever actually done anything with it. So let's just see if it gets rid of it. Now we have an error. So we'll comment that line out as well because uh, while we assign it, we actually never use it. All right, so that's cleaned up as well. So let's head back into our PC script and and I've made a mistake here. This is actually supposed to be value. Uh, checking to see if it's equal to null. Not the equipment is equal to value. Uh, and to be honest, we really don't need a reference instance here. So this is what happens when you don't have enough caffeine in the morning. <laughs> uh, we can just call the actual weapon mount because it's part of the base class. So we can access it that way. And let's go ahead and clean this up a bit too. It's just a little less typing. Either one should work fine. I'll oh, we'll save that as well. And last spot was right here. And one more quick check just to make sure there's no typos. And everything compiled fine. Now I'm going to go back into our new script and I'm going to start creating some uh, we'll just templating out some functions that I know I'm going to want. And these are going to be public functions. And they're not going to return anything. And basically these are functions that are actually going to load up different parts of our character. But the first one I want is just uh, load character. And this is actually going to load up everything. Uh, so there's just going to be a, a series of things in here. Like, you know, like load mesh, character mesh, load hair, load uh, skin color. Uh, basically, we're just going to template all, all the ones that you, you're probably going to want. So, public void load hair mesh. I know I have a mesh that I want to load. And then we can also do a public void load uh, hair color. Public void uh, load. Uh, what other ones do we have? I still haven't actually finished all of mine. Uh, we're going to want to load stats. Uh, actually, when we load them here, well, I'm going to leave the stats, vitals, and skills to the next one. Because uh, we're saving them here, then we're loading them up, and we had. A reference that we're using if I recall right let me see uh, okay let's close down these public strings yeah I was creating a static player character and using that to store stuff in, I believe uh, at least I thought that's the way I was doing it uh, what am I calling I'm calling it PC so let's just search I am using it six times. 
So yeah, right here is where we're actually just putting them directly into our character. And now that we have an instance, we can actually store them directly into here. So we're not going to need uh, a way to actually load those. But we are, do have other things that we are loading. So let me just come back up to the top. MC, uh, player name, we don't need. Uh, the rest of these we don't need, but I, like I said, I know I have a lot more that I just haven't got around to doing yet. Uh, you could do skin color. Uh, one we might want is armor. And of course, there's different types, uh, different places for the armor. Uh, I have torso, hands, helmet, uh, all those parts. So uh, the, the number of functions you're actually going to have here is going to be uh, different for you know each person who's making their game depending on you know how many body parts you basically have so i know i have a load torso armor and i'm going to say helmet i have shoulder pads Well, I guess I could just call it pauldrons. I'll just leave it as shoulder pads for now. Uh, then I have my torso, and then I have gloves. And of course, you could try to keep the naming convention all the same, like load hand armor or whatever you want. Uh, we can always refactor these later. Let me see, after gloves, I have uh, pants. So I'm just going to say leg armor. I have boots. Uh, I do have a backpack spot, and I am going to allow people to put stuff there. Um, so I guess I should put a function in for that. And I'm just going to say load back item. Uh, I guess it's like backpack or pretty much anything that you stick on your back. And I'm going to space these out. Now, like I said, uh, you're going to want to make a, one of these methods each for uh, each setting that you have in your game settings too. And like I said, I still have a lot more to add, but everyone's going to be different. And you can also combine some of these too. So you could actually have a public void load hair and that's actually going to load both of them so you'd have hair mesh and hair color combined and up here we just have load hair and this gives the ability to be able to load uh, certain ones individually. So let's say you just want to load hair color for whatever reason. Uh, you can do just that or you could load the hair color and the mesh at the same time. And the reason why I have the mesh loading first is there's no point in trying to you know, change the material color if uh, you don't have a mesh there already. Uh, so let me see, what else is there? Well, there's quite a few more. But I'll let you fill them out uh, according to what you need. And to be honest, now that I'm looking at this, I really don't like the fact that I'm calling it load, you know, whatever. Because uh, technically, we're not really loading it anymore. Uh, well, we are because we're going to be using resources.load in here. We're more, it's more like instantiating them. Because uh, we're going to load them from the from our player press file here. And then we're going to use these indexes that we're loading to actually load the resource here. I'll just keep the name load for now. If I decide to change it, we'll just do it in the next tutorial. Uh, but if you want to work ahead, the way we're going to be working this is something like, um, well, like we have been all along, just get the, the mount point and instantiate it. And in your instantiation command, use the resources.load. Uh, we'll be going over that in the next tutorial. And I think we actually have an example of it right up here. Yeah, it's something like this, except uh, we'll have the resources, well, actually, Pretty much exactly like this. Uh, the only difference will be uh, what we're loading. 
Uh, but anyway, that's it for this tutorial. Go ahead and fill out all the different uh, spots for uh, re resources that you have to load up for your character. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.